Picture this. You're at home, dutifully measuring your blood pressure, thinking you're doing everything right. But what if I told you that there are 11 common mistakes that could be throwing off your readings without you even realizing it? In this eye-opening video, we'll uncover these sneaky errors and show you how to get the most accurate blood pressure measurements possible. Whether you're a seasoned pro or new to the home monitoring game, this information is crucial for understanding your true blood pressure numbers and taking control of your health. As someone who's been in the healthcare field for years, I've seen countless patients make simple mistakes that can lead to inaccurate readings and even misdiagnoses. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll be a blood pressure measuring pro armed with the knowledge and tools to get the most precise results possible. So grab a cup of tea, minus the caffeine of course, and let's get started. I've reviewed the American Heart Association AHA, and American Diabetes Association ADA guidelines on blood pressure measurement and management. Here are the key points. The AHA categorizes blood pressure ranges as follows. Normal, less than 120, 80 mmHg, elevated, 120, 129, less than 80 mmHg, hypertension stage 1, 130, 139, 80, 89, mmHg, hypertension stage two, 140, 90, mmHg or higher, hypertensive crisis over 100 E, 80, 120, mmHg, requires emergency medical care. The ADA recommends a blood pressure target of less than 130, 80, mmHg for most adults with diabetes or increased cardiovascular risk. For pregnant individuals with chronic hypertension, a target of 110, 135, 85 mmHg is suggested to reduce risks. Both organizations emphasize the importance of proper blood pressure measurement techniques, including using validated devices, correct cuff sizing, proper patient positioning, and taking multiple readings. They also recommend home blood pressure monitoring along with clinical assessments for accurate diagnosis and treatment monitoring. 1. Arm Cuff Overclothing Error Imagine this, you're in a rush and you quickly wrap the blood pressure cuff over your shirt sleeve. Seems harmless, right? Well, a 2020 study found that blood pressure measurements taken over clothing were significantly higher than those taken on bare skin. This simple mistake can lead to readings that are way off the mark. The fix. Always remove any clothing that might interfere with the cuff placement. Roll up your sleeve or wear a short sleeve shirt to ensure the cuff is directly against your skin. This small adjustment can make a big difference in accuracy. 2. Incorrect arm position for BP. Picture this. You're lounging on the couch, arm dangling by your side, and you decide to take your blood pressure. A 2019 study showed that having your arm too low or too high can lead to an overestimation or underestimation of your blood pressure, respectively. The fix. Rest your arm on a table at heart level with your palm facing up and your elbow slightly bent. This allows for the most accurate measurement of the pressure in your brachial artery. Think of it as giving your arm a little throne to sit on. 3. Tight blood pressure cuff issue Imagine squeezing into a pair of jeans that are two sizes too small. Uncomfortable, right? The same goes for your blood pressure cuff. A 2021 study found that using a cuff that's too small can lead to an overestimation of blood pressure, while a cuff that's too loose can result in an underestimation. The fix. Choose a cuff size that fits your arm properly. The cuff should fit snugly, but not too tightly around your upper arm, about one inch above your elbow. Most home blood pressure monitors come with multiple cuff sizes or have adjustable cuffs to ensure a proper fit. 4. High blood pressure at rest Imagine running up a flight of stairs and immediately taking your blood pressure. A 2020 study confirmed that blood pressure measurements taken immediately after exercise were significantly higher than those taken after a period of rest. The fix. Sit quietly for at least five minutes before measuring. This allows your body to relax and your blood pressure to return to its baseline level. Think of it as giving your heart a moment to catch its breath. 5. Impact of full bladder on BP Imagine holding in a full bladder while trying to stay calm. A 2018 study found that a full bladder can increase systolic blood pressure by up to 15 mEHG. The fix. 
Always empty your bladder before measuring your blood pressure to ensure the most accurate reading possible. This simple step can help you avoid falsely elevated numbers. 6. Blood Pressure and Crossed Legs Imagine sitting comfortably with your legs crossed. A 2019 study demonstrated that crossing your legs during blood pressure measurement can increase your systolic blood pressure by an average of 7 mHg. The Fix Keep your feet flat on the floor and your legs uncrossed during the entire measurement process. Sit up straight with your back supported and your arm resting comfortably on a table. 7. Caffeine Effect on Blood Pressure Imagine sipping on your morning coffee and then taking your blood pressure. A 2021 meta-analysis found that consuming caffeine within 30 minutes of measuring your blood pressure can lead to a significant increase in both systolic and diastolic numbers. The Fix Avoid caffeine for at least 30 minutes before measuring your blood pressure. This includes coffee, tea, soda, and even some medications that contain caffeine. 8. Measuring BP on Wrong Arm Imagine switching arms every time you measure your blood pressure. A 2020 study found that a difference of more than 10 mmHg between arms could be a sign of underlying cardiovascular issues. The Fix Always measure your blood pressure on the same arm, preferably your non-dominant arm. If you notice a significant difference between your arms, be sure to discuss this with your healthcare provider. 9. Wrist Blood Pressure Monitor Mistakes Imagine using a wrist blood pressure monitor for convenience. A 2019 study found that wrist monitors were more likely to overestimate or underestimate blood pressure compared to upper arm devices. The Fix If you choose to use a wrist monitor, make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully. Keep your wrist at heart level during the measurement and avoid moving or talking while the device is taking your reading. 10. Talking during blood pressure measurement Imagine chatting with a friend while taking your blood pressure. A 2018 study demonstrated that talking during blood pressure measurement can increase your systolic pressure by an average of 8 mmHg. The Fix Remain silent and still during the entire measurement process. Avoid talking, moving, or even thinking about stressful topics while your blood pressure is being taken. 11. Reliance on Single Diagnosis Method Imagine relying solely on your home blood pressure monitor for a hypertension diagnosis. A 2021 study emphasized the importance of using multiple methods, including in-office measurements and ambulatory monitoring for an accurate diagnosis. The Fix Use home blood pressure monitoring as part of a comprehensive diagnostic approach in combination with regular checkups with your healthcare provider. Keep a log of your home readings and share them with your doctor to help paint a complete picture of your blood pressure health. Phew, that was a lot of information. But don't worry, by being aware of these common blood pressure measurement mistakes and taking steps to avoid them, you'll be well on your way to getting the most accurate readings possible. Remember, home monitoring is an incredibly powerful tool for taking control of your health, but it's just one piece of the puzzle. Always work closely with your healthcare provider to interpret your results and make informed decisions about your blood pressure management. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. After all, everyone deserves to have the knowledge and tools to take control of their blood pressure health. And if you want even more tips and tricks for living your healthiest life, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. We've got plenty more exciting content coming your way. And remember, if you ever have any concerns about your blood pressure or overall health, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider. They're there to help you every step of the way on your journey to optimal wellness. As always, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep calm and measure on.